Burr. <laughs> okay, so we got the RV back. RV is back and we're RVing in the snow. In the snow. <laughs> Check out Morph. We are leaving the hotel and we are ready to go see. And, and the girl is in. She got one. <laughs> and she's still carrying it. We're a little tired. We're on the wrong time zone, but we're making it work. We got this. Let's go see if the RV is functional, if it's buried in snow, if we can get it to start, if we can get our minivan to start. We have no idea. So we arrived back here in Denver, Colorado last night, grabbed a hotel, and came in while it was snowing. We had to rent a SUV because we're a family of six and we wanted to make sure we had four wheel drive um, so that we can get through what we need to get through and go see if our RV is doing well and if it functions and if we are going to drive it out into the snow and go camp for the night. So cross your fingers that it runs that we don't have mice, um, that the battery works, that the minivan's battery works, and that everything goes smoothly. And then we need to go get propane in the RV because otherwise we're not gonna have heat or a functional fridge. And then we are so excited to cook in our own RV and get some groceries. So a lot's gonna happen today. I don't know if it's all gonna work out. We're gonna see. Ready or not, we're gonna see Morph in just a moment, guys. I think it's the next row. Oh my god, look at the car. Everything's so covered. Everything's covered. Oh my goodness. Look at that. What did we do? What did we do to ourselves? We just like killed ourselves. Oh my goodness. It's so covered. Oh my gosh, it's. There it is. There it is, you guys. Wait. Right on the left. Up here on the left. Oh my gosh, the wind thing. <laughs> the wind thing fell off. There it is. Look at the icicle. Yeah. I see it. It doesn't look like that much snow on it. I was smart. That's what I thought. You parked it there. I was smart. I backed it in because I knew oh we were going to have to jump it. Thank you. The minivan. Smart. Yes, we are good yeah. to go. Look at no, I was just finding the cable. Jump the cable. <laughs> That's if we need to jump it, right? Can I open this door? I think we just park it here. Nobody else is going to come around. No. Oh. Uh, no, it's way too deep. <laughs> it's like two feet. And we have no boots. We're all in tennis shoes. We got this. Hey, I see bunny tracks, you guys. I see bunny tracks. Oh, no. oh, he still has on. <laughs> oh wow. I'm gonna make a snow angel. You're gonna make a snow angel? No, 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 no. Not yet, baby. Not yet. Not until I know I can put clean clothes on you, okay? All right, let's go see if it starts. <laughs> I'm gonna make a snow angel with the only warm clothes we have. Come on, guys. Uh oh. Up the <laughs> oh, it opened right away. <laughs> Are you playing?
playing the bell. The band started right up. Oh, the band started! I missed it. Yay! The band started. <laughs> wow. Yeah. We're... I'm still in shock. Both vehicles started right up after five months. No problem. And I don't see any signs of mice in the RV so far. Not not very many. I, saw, like, I don't know. Maybe this turds. is a sign as to uh, what we're doing next here. Who knows? <laughs> Give us an hour. We'll be flying back to Tahiti. Or... I know. It was so warm in Thailand and now we're here in the snow. 34 Celsius down to 34 degrees. But they're enjoying it, right? I mean, this is the joy of it. We haven't seen snow in three years. So this well, is a big deal. The whole thing. We're not done. This is we're, we're still. This world is world traveling. traveling. We mm -hmm. just happen to have been to this country before. Our visa doesn't expire here, <laughs> and we know the currency and what side of the road to drive. And we have a house on wheels, which yeah. I'm so excited to have our own kitchen back and our own beds. What? Oh, icicles! <laughs> Are you so excited, Jess? She hasn't. Don't eat it, okay? Don't, don't put your here. tongue on it. It could freeze to it. Yeah, that's one thing to note. We're reminding ourselves that Jasmine hasn't seen snow since she was a toddler. She doesn't remember this at all. Like regular, like yeah, like real snow. We went to Minnesota for Christmas last year, but there was no snow. No, it snowed. So for she like missed five out. Months. It didn't really. She didn't get this. So she is thrilled. Oh, don't you dare, <laughs> guys! Get off the van, <laughs> Tony, Tony, Tony. You're this, this far away from the RV. You're this far away from the RV. Just so you know. What has frostbite? My hands. Woohoo! Success! One thing we haven't checked yet is if we have mice in the van. We've had that before, and since it's been sitting here, there's a good chance. So before we put the RV and van in storage, five months ago, we were told one of the best ways to keep mice out is to buy a bunch of these bounce sheets and put them around strategically because mice hate the smell of them. So I have one down there and I have a few throughout the van and the RV. Hey guys, no, I'm getting off all the snow. The door's open. Children, door's open. All right, I don't see mice in there. We got Jazzy's car seat so we can drive legally in the SUV. She's the only one that still needs a booster. And uh, we're gonna go bring the van in for tires. We do know that we left the propane really low, but I don't remember how low, so let's yeah. check. Yeah. Turn the battery on. Yeah. Main power. Main power. And let's see. It'll take a second. Oh yeah, turn the furnace off. We don't want the little bit of propane. Mm -hmm. All right, so we had a little propane left. We're hoping that we can get the fridge started even though it is cold in here, but I want to know that it runs because we had issues years ago. Our RV fridge. And so we're hoping we don't have any issues and we can go get groceries later today. But I want to know that we have a fridge that functions. So Tony turned the fridge on and you're clicking here. Oh, there, it's going. Can you hear it warm? Yeah, it's going whoosh. It's yeah. Awesome. Okay, fridge and freezer are closed. One thing we knew was going to be the problem, well not a problem, but an issue, is that we don't have any snow boots. We don't own them. Um, and for winter wear, we have winter jackets for the kids and I underneath the bed in the RV, which are, is hard to get out right now. 
So we're all wearing sweatshirts. Tony's the only one with a winter jacket because he brought that with when we went overseas because he had to go to Paris for a work trip while we were overseas in Indonesia. Um, so he has his jacket. The rest of us don't, they're under the bed. And the kids really want to play in the snow. So we bought hat and gloves when we were in Tokyo before we got back here to the US. And they're using those, but they're not like the best. So they're freezing, but we're so excited to see snow. This is like a whole new adventure, RVing in the snow. It feels so weird to be in the driver's seat, let alone the left side of the vehicle. Oh no, we have a crack in our windshield. I think we had a little bit before we left, but look at it now. I don't know if you can see it, but it goes all the way along the bottom. Alright, let's just see if they can get us in and then we'll just drop it off. Yes. Oh, we'll make it work. So Tony, we rented this SUV for two days and we just put him down as the driver. So that means I get to drive the RV to our campsite at Cherry Creek State Park here in Colorado. Which is what, like a 30 minute drive? But before then we need propane, a tractor supply and it's rear wheel drive, which means they need to take us like I get to drive the RV, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think I can do this. It's been a while. I already drove the van, and now it's my turn to get in the beast. And Tony says, keep forward momentum. It's very deep snow right here, so we will see how this goes. You don't like talking when you're stressed. All right, the system's just cycling. I guess our back battery might be dead. So that's gonna be an issue. Look at that yummy windshield. I made it to tractor supply. Now it's time for propane and to see about this house battery. All right, we needed windshield washer fluid, that's a de-icer, and we needed antifreeze for the black tank. And they're both on the end caps, look at that the tractor supply. Perfect. All right, we are set, Gwen. That's what we needed. We got antifreeze for the black tank, uh, de-icer windshield washer fluid for the RV, and some Mr. Buddy heater propane tank. So we can try and stay warm tonight. I think we're ready. I think we are gonna head straight to the campground and get set up and see if everything kind of functions and runs. And then I think we'll, um, if we're connected to shore power there, then our refrigerator should run just fine and we can justify going and getting groceries. Um, but we think we might have a battery issue with the battery on board and we can kind of figure that out as we're at the campground. And if we have to go get a new battery in the next few days for our onboard battery, we can do that. Because we'll be connected to shore power so we'll be able to get by. But if that's the worst of it, this was awesome. We're putting the RV in storage for five months and in the snow and not checking on it because we've been overseas. We're pretty fortunate, yeah. We made it, I drove the whole way, and then I got all confused as to which direction to go to park it. So Tony's gonna park the RV, but there's a little snow in our site. Not a lot, a lot of it's melted. Um, so hopefully when our jacks go down, it's not a big deal. Uh, but it shows, yeah, the hookups are available, and we got our 
dining table, and I don't think we're going to have a fire. It's a little cold for that. We had all the bikes in the inside for now. You guys are taking them out with the rug, putting them up so they don't get all wet. <laughs> I guess our uh, our bounce sheets didn't work completely, did they? Oh, part of that's coffee bean. <laughs> More mice droppings. Well, that looks a little interesting. That um, we open up the bed and I'm what in the world that. is that? I think it's a house. Look at there's droppings in there, Riley. That is a mice. There's probably mice in there. Oh, oh and this is where all of our worm stuff is. Uh-oh. Hey, Sean. So I think I found the mice home. Like there's sh like shriveled everything and tons of mice droppings right here. And I was going to try and find our sweatshirts and jackets. Look at that. Look at that. Bed. On their bed, their pillow has poop on it. Honey, they're in more than one place. That's got to be a, some sort of poop. These girls are so tired. Jet lag is real. We're trying to stay awake until we get back, and then you can fall asleep in your bed. All right, we thought maybe we'd keep it under 300 at Trader Joe's, our first time grocery shopping. $450 later, two absolutely full carts later, and we have a lot of food. Thrift stores are amazing. We just stopped at a thrift store, and I think we spent maybe $125, and we got four pairs of kids' snow boots, four sets of gloves, long sleeve shirts for everybody in the family, um, some winter PJs for the kids. Tony got a really nice, like, thin jacket, um, North Face brand. I got some Timberland boots, all for like $124, $125. Amazing. Well, we're officially camping in the snow, but it's sunny and it's warm, surprisingly, this morning. It was cold last night, um, but it was our first night in the RV. Everything went well, everybody slept um, for part of the night. And then half the night they were awake because we're just still not on U.S. time zone yet. But uh, overall, I think everything went really good. Now the kids are excited to go make snowmen. Are you excited to be in the snow? Be back in the RV? I thought it was time to hop on here quick and give you guys a little bit of an update. So we made it back to the US, as you can tell from the stories we've been sharing. Uh, everything went well. We are back in the RV. We were able to get that. Everything went well there. Um, and we had three nights stay here in Colorado, in um, Cherry Creek State Park in Denver, Colorado. Um, in the RV, which just so happens to have a bunch of snow. So the kids are having a blast. We had to go to the thrift store quick and grab boots um, and hats and gloves and things like that because they haven't been able to play in snow in like three years. So this has been really exciting for them. Um, we have not been able to turn on our water or our gray tank because we're afraid that we're gonna get things frozen. Um, so we're staying winterized. So we're, we're definitely camping. We have to do dishes and dump the water outside and all of that, but um, we have propane, we have heat, we're good to go. So the question is, now what? Where do we go from here? 
So Tony and I have been doing a lot of talking, a lot of thinking. We've been talking to the kids a lot for the last several months overseas um, about their education, about our travel lifestyle, and we've done a lot of research, a lot of reaching out. And one of the options of what we're going, you know, one of the paths we're thinking we might want to take is to attempt to take a few months, take a breather, maybe rent a, a townhouse or a condo somewhere, um, and just try and establish a routine for our family. Um, with that, the two older kids are showing a huge interest in trying to go to school. They have never been to school. We have always homeschooled. Um, and so we did some research about some great homeschool or a great um, private school opportunities in the US um, that are not religious based because we don't follow any specific religious affiliation. And we found an amazing one that I want to share with you. It is called Acton Academy. And there are, gosh, I don't know how many, 80 to 100 different Acton Academy locations now because um, different ones are opening up and they help you kind of establish and, and get started. Um, check them out if you're interested, actonacademy.org. But we did some research as to which Acton Academies are in the US because we were really interested in coming back to the US um, and which ones would support our son who is now, like in the next six months would be um, um, entering middle school age. So a lot of Acton Academies are started out with just elementary school and then as they do well and they grow, a couple years later they open up a middle school age. So we needed one that was already opening a middle school. Um, and we found a few options and our number one list is in uh, Meridian, Idaho, which is just outside of Boise. However, we've never visited Boise or Meridian before. So with that being said, we have a house on wheels, right? Right here. So we are going to take our house on wheels and our minivan and we are going to drive across the Rocky Mountains in February, cross our fingers, the weather stays nice tomorrow and the next day. So far it looks great. And we are going to drive across 800 miles to Boise, Idaho. Uh, well, Meridian, just outside of it. And we're going to check it out. We're going to learn a little bit about the community. We're going to go tour the school. Um, we're going to experience what life is like over there and see if this might be a good fit for our family. We have no idea you know we don't know until we go and we're willing to take a chance and go check it out the kids are super excited um, because what we did back in Kuala Lumpur Malaysia is we visited the Acton Academy KL and the kids loved it you guys they loved it so much that we left and they're like I want to go to Acton but we all decided we don't want to live outside the US Burr. <laughs> okay so we got the RV back RV is back and we're RVing in the snow. In the snow! <laughs> a little different than Thailand. Just a little bit, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it could have been worse. Like, we were afraid the RV wasn't going to start. The van wasn't, the van wasn't going to start. We'd get stuck in and out. And we did it. No. Like, even though it was snowing, like, we got out fine, even though the van's tires were bald. <laughs> yeah, and thank you, Chad, at Mountain RV Storage for <laughs> for letting us uh, keep it all there and yeah I mean really it was what the jacks wouldn't go down the first 24 hours yep. which was hydraulic and it was probably just because it was so cold and the onboard battery wasn't really functioning well but now it is again so cold and yeah it's just the shakedown run it's everything's cold yeah so we're, we're waking up from its slumber we are there are there were some mouse droppings but we haven't seen any yeah, like, like I think we shook the mice as we drove away yeah. out of the storage unit. They were all gathering. We just bolted with the RV <laughs> and took their house. Uh, Take that, mice. I know, right? So now we're back. We're back to RVing. And yeah, it's cold. But we're here <laughs> after five months. Yeah, five months at the equator. Have you guys ever RV'd in the snow? Because if you have, give us some tips. Because this, this is really unique to us. We have haven't... You, have you RV'd on purpose? On purpose in the snow. snow. Because we're still staying where it's cold, and so we have to kind of manage that. One of the things we've already done is we put antifreeze in the black tank, and we're not using any water, any of the the gray water, or the fresh water, still winterized because we don't want to chance that. But any other tips, let us know. All right, guys, we got to get going. Thanks for watching. <laughs>